Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Snowflake. In this tutorial, we are going to see the next step in the process of data load in the Snowflake. The step is nothing but creating the file format for the given set of data. In earlier lecture, we saw how to create a stage by using CSV file. So we loaded the CSV file in the staging platform, but it will not be possible to load the data directly into the Snowflake data layer without understanding the structure of the data. And hence, we need to create the file format. So let's understand how the data flows between the stage and the Snowflake layer. First, we know the Snowflake is nothing but a cloud version. We cannot have the private cloud or we cannot have the our standalone installation of Snowflake. So it is a cloud Snowflake. And within that Snowflake, we created the databases. Within the databases, we can create the tables. So we created the table as well as we created the databases. Once we are done with these changes, what we have done is we created a CSV file that is comma separated file in our S3 bucket. For demo purpose or in the trial version, we have provided with AWS S3 bucket, which we have leveraged to put our a data that is a city bike data in the form of CSV file. Now, how can we connect or how can you connect the file which is in the CSV format to load the data in the our database tables? For that, first we need to understand what is the file we created that is CSV file we need to convert or we need to understand what format that file is so that when you start a data load process the attributes will be structured based on the what kind of or what type of format we are using if you are using a json format then accordingly the transformation will happen to load the data from sc bucket to our tables in our case we are we created the CSV file. So the transformation which will start from the S3 bucket to the given format and using that format, the data will be loaded in the tables. Now having this understanding, if you remember, we never created any type of format in our Snowflake so far. So hence the next step comes that is nothing but creating the file format. Our case, it is a CSV file, so we'll create CSV file format. So let's go ahead and access our Snowflake website. Once you log into the Snowflake, you will see this page. Then what you have to do is you can go to the databases and select the database for which you are going to create a file format. We are going to use Citibike as a database. And within that, you can select what are the table which we have created and then go to the file format. For loading these tables, this input file format will be used. Now, once you go to this file format, you'll see the multiple option, create, clone, edit, drop and transfer ownership as like other Snowflake object. So here, none of the file format present by default, we have to create from our side. So to create that, you have to click on the create button. Once you click the create button, it will open the dialog box with several fields. It includes the fields such as name, schema name, format type, compressed method, column separator, row separator, header line to skip, field optionally, enclosed by null string if it is any there enclosed character escape on enclosed fields date format timestamp format and comment so let's provide the details for each of this file format you can give any name to this name field well i'm giving the name as a csv that is comma separated value you can select your appropriate schema so the available schema right now is public so i'll keep as it then file format you can select csv there are some other file formats also supported by snowflake such as json xml avro orc and parquet etc 
So I'll select the CSV as a file format. The compression version uh, method I will select as auto, but there are several compression methods are there. As this is CSV file, so the separator will be comma. So I will select column separator as comma and row separator will be a next line or the new line. We are not using any header in our data file. So I will keep the header line to skip as a zero. Field optionally and close the values is none. We can also have the double quotes and single quotes. I will make it as none. There is nothing special going on in the data set level. The null string I will make as a empty. There are two options comes with the null string. The first option is trim space before and after. And the next second option is error on column count mismatch. So let's unselect both these checkboxes and I will not provide any null string value. Then escape character. We have the options such as backslash none and other. So I'll let's go ahead and use a backslash. If you don't want to use backslash, then just skip the none. Then we have the escape unclose field. Here we have the options such as none and backslash. I'll select backslash date format. If you have any specific type of date format in your data, then you have to select appropriate date format like such as DD, MM, YY, but I'll keep auto. It will detect automatically. Then the timestamp format as like date format, we can select the timestamp format and then provide the input uh, comment as an input file format or what are the relevant comment you can provide. I'll just make one more change uh, for fill optionally and close. I'll just make as a double quote in case if you have any space for the given field or any special character, then it will be closed and close in the double quotes. In case you want to see the what SQL is going to it fire behind the scene, then you can click on the show SQL. It will show us it is going to create a file format of type CSV. The compression is auto and respective fields. You can close it and click on finish. So these are the parameters we have to set. And so what we are trying to do is we are when we load the data from our S3 bucket to our Snowflake database, the file format will be internally detected based on the what S3 bucket file present. And when we actually start the process, this file format is we need to pass as an input. So this is a very important step for loading the data in the Snowflake. I hope you understand what is the step and how to create the file format. In the next lecture, we are going to see how to load the data using S3 bucket file format and our database. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe my channel for more interesting update about Snowflake. Thank you and have a nice time.